Shalom Israel. Just want to, uh, you know, something I was thinking about in the spirit. I'm always thinking in the spirit. Like, I, I don't know if, if I've said this on videos before, but, you know, although I don't drop as many videos, uh, I actually record a lot of videos. I just don't drop them all because sometimes, you know, I might make a mistake and say something the wrong way or whatever, you know. And, and unfortunately, you have to be hyper concerned about, you know, the way you project things in this in, in this truth because brothers you you might by mistake point the pinky finger and the and the motherfucking index finger one way and motherfuckers is quick to be oh he's illuminati so you know uh, but anyway this video i want to talk about when you're in this truth and you know you've done some fucked up things and you get a punishment for it take your fucking medicine man take your medicine because I'm going to give a perfect example, right? I used to go to church with a brother, and, and, and he used to love to speak at camp. He used to love to speak so much that he would be very disruptive when he's on the side and he's not the speaker. He would always be on the side and say shit. To the point where one time I literally told him to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? So it goes to show you how bad it is for me to tell somebody shut the... Well, those were the days where you can expect that from me, but, you know, I told, I turned around, I told him, yo, shut the fuck up, you know, um, so I, I, I told him, listen, bro, if you don't stop doing, you know, doing all this extra talking, we're going to suspend you, and you're not going to be able to speak for a month, you know, the guy said to me, this was, this was over 10 years ago that this happened, and I'm not mad at the brother for, for it, because, Hopefully he's grown since then. But when I told him that's a disciplinary thing from an elder to a younger man, who the man now is being called elder by a lot of people, believe it or not. But at one, at this point, he was brand new in the truth and just reckless and careless, you know? And one thing that I realized is that what he was doing was off his hell. Because he said, when I told him that, he said, if you suspend me from speaking for a month, I'm going to leave and start my own church. Well, he didn't say start his own church, but he pretty much indicated that he's either going to leave and join another church or he's going to just leave. So my whole thing is, brothers can't be that hard to discipline. When you know you're doing something that's wrong, it's pointed out to you. You understand it. Don't go and be like, yo, uh, you know, whatchamacallit, uh, you, you just can't do that bullshit where, you know, you don't take accountability. Because that's one thing that's really, really fucked up in this truth is that we have men that don't take accountability. You would rather go and start your own church, which motherfuckers make that shit sound so easy. It's, it's one thing where you got a whole church full of brothers that are actually able to back you up and help you in any situation. And then it's one whole thing to sit there, you know, and, and be by yourself or, or with two other brothers. And nine times out of 10, the two other brothers don't know shit either. Two, three brothers. You might take some former disgruntled members with you, which which I, actually you're doing brothers a favor sometimes. You're the one that's taking on somebody else, former headaches. You know, but when you get a punishment in this truth, you take that shit, man. Even if you don't think it's fair. Of course you're not going to think it's fair. It's you. You have to correct your behavior. That whole thing of, oh, if you punish me, I'm going to go and do my own thing. I'm going to go teach elsewhere with another church. That goes to show you how loyal you niggas are in this truth, man. Because if I tell you you can't speak for a month, you're suspended. Or if I suspend a brother, he got to stand on the other side. Then stand on the other fucking side, man. Yeah, you got a lot of men that don't, don't understand you do some fucked up shit. You need to be punished. You need to get the fucking foot in your ass, man. 
You know, you got men in this truth that actually are bitches enough. I'm not saying that brother was a bitch, you know, but for him to say that at that time, that was some bitch shit. Oh, if you suspend me from speaking, I'll just go somewhere else. Or I, I, I forgot exactly what he said, but he pretty much said he's not going to be with us anymore. And I said, yo, you know what, bro? If that's your mentality, you can fucking leave. If it's that easy for you to leave, then fucking leave. But anyway, with that, shalom.